Your son, James. He's a good kid. He's a good kid? A, a good kid? Why? Does he help the fucking poor? No. He sits on his ass all day, smoking dope and jerking off while he plays that fucking game. If that's our standard for goodness, then no wonder this country's screwed. And what about you? What about me? Hey. I don't have the advantages that kid has. By the time I was his age, I'd already been in prison twice. I robbed banks. I ran whores. I smuggled dope. And you consider them achievements? These were the opportunities I had. At least I took them. And where did these opportunities get you, Michael? They got me right fucking here. The end of the road. With a big house and a useless kid. And I'm stuck talking to you because no one else gives a shit. Oh, I'm living a dream, baby. And that dream is fucked. It is fucking fucked. Let it all out. I think I just did. <sighs> oh. Well, I think that's all we have time for. The same time next week? I guess. Oh. I gotta tell you, I ain't too sure this shit is working for me. Hmm. Well, a sense of overriding futility is a vital part of the process. Embrace it. Whatever you say, Doc. Sand, fool. Another brilliant Lamar Davis production. Man, fuck you. Hey, excuse me, homie. Can you tell me where Berto Beach House is? No, homie, I cannot. Man, won't you come on? Fuck. Actually, yeah. It's that house right there with the yellow stairs. Yeah. Good looking out, homie. Appreciate it. Man, get your stupid ass on. Damn. Why don't you ask him if he knows the fucking owner? Or better yet, do some skywriting that reads there's a couple niggas here about to boost some cars in case somebody didn't realize. See, what you don't realize is that we ain't boosting. This shit is legit business. Legit? Oh yeah, I forgot, huh? 401ks, tax returns and all. Yeah, right. You the one all pumped up on doing this lit, nigga. I'm getting my money in the hood. I'm straight, fool. I'm cool. You cool? Cool what? Slinging dope and throwing up gang signs? Yeah, right. Whatever, homie. Yeah, homie, this the spin knot right here. Your boy Simeon wasn't bullshit. Man, get your ass in here. Bring your ass, fool. Always trying to boss somebody. Come on. Come on. Shit, come on. Damn, this nigga must got the baby dead. <laughs> yeah, and all this shit paid for with bad credit. You always was old choosy, motherfucker. Oh, you ballin' hard with the drop top, huh? I might just be. Whatever, nigga. It ain't gonna make you go no faster. Hit me on the speakerphone. I'm moving. Oh, it's like that, nigga? Right up here, homie. I'm about to go nice and slow for your bitch ass. Yeah, whatever you say. Hey, remember we gotta be careful with these rides, homie. The Simeon ain't about to dock my peg in. Homie, man, if you need some bread, I can hook you up with JB's tow truck. It ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? 
on me. I'm good. Remember, this is your Terrier's car. Hey, screw you too, homie. Hey, dawg, we be doing Simeon a disservice if we ain't test these rides out. He ain't even gonna know if they could if we don't push him to the brink. How <laughs> you feel me? Dumb enough to fuck with your ass. Keep up, homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We going right. What I hear you. We going left into this parking lot. Okay. can flow through. Whatever, nigga. I'll let something flow through your ass. Dog, I ain't too sure that joke works, dog. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, the one time. Be cool, fool. We got the paperwork. Whatever, you explain that shit. I'll see you at the dealership. Explain that shit, my ass. Man, fuck this shit. You are a racist and I don't like you. And I will not sell you this car. I will not. You make my skin crawl, you neo-Nazi. Hey, you are all the same. You're disgusting. This racist insulted me. 
Hey, what's up, bro? Who you calling a nigga? No, no, I'm not calling nobody a nigga. Wait, what the fuck? I, I mean, N-word. I, I, that, that's not cool, man. I, I don't say that. You fucking right, and you better keep it right, because this man right here, he's an international businessman, a multiculturalist. That I could not have said better myself. Ah. But seriously, maybe he's not a racist. But I don't think that he is man enough for a car like this. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> this guy right here, him? Get him a high. That's a real man's car. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are right, Lamar. You get a tax rebate. I understand. Money is an issue, eh? Money isn't an issue. This is the best part. Watch this when he really made he gonna get all this full money. Watch this. Look, man, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Simeon, I'm out. I'll holler at you, homie. <laughs> it's the best part, man. So, Jimmy, are you sure you are man enough? Take the wheel and show me. Uh, sure, okay. How about we fall through, homie? Jump change, how I'm gonna knock a bad grown a sexy bitch if I ain't got a fat peas eye? Who you trying to impress? Your auntie Denise with all that ass nigga she got ass. She grown, yeah. She grown into a fucking idiot. No, she's sexy. Sexy? She more like obsessed with sex, nigga. No, mad for the penis. That's exactly how I like my women. Man, shit, it's good to be home. What's up, can a low come up in your crib? Man, fuck you, I'll see you at work. Oh, nigga, don't hate me because I'm beautiful, nigga. Maybe you got rid of that old yee-yee-ass haircut you got, you get some bitches on your dick. Oh, better yet, maybe Tanisha will call your dog ass if she ever stop fucking with that brain surgeon the lawyer she fucking with, nigga. What? Oh, this Ooh, honey. <laughs> Y'all telling me? Oh, he here. We living on top of each other, and it ain't right. Shoo! Shoo! Get on out of here! Okay, baby. I see you at the thing. You here? I was on the phone, boy. Don't be listening. Goddamn freeloader. Before we start this week's episode of More Head Rides Again, we'd like to tell you about a remarkable free offer. You can own an incredible, genuine Gordon Moorhead detective badge, replica guns, and packet of candy cigarettes. So you can help protect your neighborhood the same way Gordon protects America. All you need to do is get your dad or uncle to write a check for $10. Send it in, and you'll be sent a certificate.